What's going on, Fight Heads? This is the Encyclopedia George Kennebrew here for MMA Mayhem TV. We are here at Center Stage Legacy 47. This interview is being brought to you by SSFightStore.com. Now, it's no secret who I'm standing next to. This guy needs no introduction. He's the Tower of Power, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, and looking like money. So you already know what it is. It could be only one Mick Maynard, or as I like to call him, Mickey May. Styling and profiling. And my man, you're back in the A once again. I mean, the, the night is young. When I first saw you, when I ran into you earlier, I was like, gosh, like, can, can we get Hollister to sponsor you or something? I mean, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I know, I, I mean, I know I, I'm, I'm fresh and everything. Don't get it wrong, but this man here, this is why I'm wearing this, because of him. I'm just saying, he's the sharpest Aussie walking right now. But anyway, business at hand. Another successful event. Legacy does it again. It seems like every time that y'all come to Atlanta, y'all have this knack of just making us ATLians just lose our minds. Because you and your team put together these awesome fights, and it just comes out, and we're just like, with our jaw drop. Like, do, do, you, do you go to, do you lose hours of sleep putting this stuff together, or do you just call your boys and be like, look, make it happen? Damn. How the f do I follow that up? I'm just, I'm just, speaking, <laughs> I'm just speaking what I feel. I'm just speaking what I feel, Mickey, mate. Honestly, uh, we spend a lot of time putting together the matches. Our most important thing is exciting matches. So, yeah, I do lose a lot of sleep. I lose a lot of sleep over making, it, making sure this finishes. Seven for seven, can't get better than that. Cannot get better than can't that. Better. Now, let's talk about some of these fights that happened. Let's talk about some of the highlights of some of these fights. I want to talk about C.J. Hamilton and Brantley Fur. That was a, a world win in the first round, and then the second round, uh, C.J. did what he liked to call uh, winning the bumblebee mode and just straight up just handled his business. Just sitting back watching that fight. Like, what are your thoughts of this kid, C.J. Hamilton? Because he's on fire right now. Yeah, no, he's the real deal. He's the real deal, isn't he? I mean, it's all about finishes. Honestly, I think that the way I look at Legacy, where is the next step to the UFC? Right. I mean, I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the way the UFC is looking at it is they want finishes. They want people that go out there. They going to want people that put on exciting fights, and he delivered. And, and that's all you can ask. Now, he told me, now, no, I said I was going to deliver a personal message to you from him. Oh, he said, Mr. Maynard, if there's ever another legacy card, please call my phone because I will be willing to step up to the challenge quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm just saying, do, do you, is it yay or nay? It's yay. There it is. He said, he said it like a boss, so you said yay. yay. <laughs> now, let's talk about that, that main event. Very good fight between Jordan Rinaldi and Clay Harvison, it was back and forth. I actually thought that it was going to go the diff distance, but it didn't, which I'm sure the fans would be most proud of. But just sitting back and, and kind of watching that fight, what, what did you think about the, the, the nonstop, uh, fast-paced action that, hap that happened, especially on the ground? I mean, I think that's Clay. I mean, I was surprised it was a finish also, to be honest with you. I was expecting it to go the distance. Clay's very, very tough. He's a veteran. Um, I did not expect it to, I mean, listen, at this level, the talent is extremely, extremely high. So people always want to finish, people always want, don't leave it to the judges, people always use that cliche, but uh, as far as Clay goes, I honestly thought that it was going to go the distance. It's a testimony to Jordan and his skill, the fact that he was able to finish him, because Clay is very, very, very tough. So it was impressive, it was impressive. Jordan belongs on the next level, he's young. He has got, I think this is four in a row for Jordan. Mm -hmm. it's, it's time. It's time to go. Now, now, last thing. I got to ask you about the A-Town Ogre, Dave Vitkay. Six wins in a row. This guy j is, is tearing it up right now. He's been, he's been on, on a hot streak, on such a hot streak. I don't even know where he could go. I mean, there's no, it's no telling where he could go. He could go, to the, he could go to Bellator. He could go back to the UFC. He could go to World Series of Fighting. I mean, you just put Dave Vitkay in a fight with a top fighter right now, and I guarantee you he can hold his own. But that stoppage, I, I got to admit, I don't know about you, I didn't see that coming. Even though he, was, he, he, he got him with the slams or whatnot, I did not expect the referee to, to, to step in and stop it. 
I mean, Dave's on another level. Honestly, he's he's reached the highest levels. Personally, I'd like to see Dave in the UFC. Secondary, I'd like to see him in Bellator. World Series of Fighting. I mean, no. <laughs> UFC or Bellator. Because there you go. There personally, you go. I prefer to see him in UFC. Okay. I mean, but, but Bellator has a lot to offer. Of course, you got the sponsors, you got everything else. Bellator is coming up. I'd love to see him in there. Um, and I'm just speaking honestly. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as, uh, as as far as career goes, I prefer to see Dave in one of those two organizations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's got a lot of high expectations for a lot of people. And uh, you definitely want to look out for this guy because legacy is definitely headed your way, one way or another. This interview has been brought to you by SSFightStore.com. Another page has been turned, and I guarantee you he's coming back to the A-Town.